Abu Salamtana, Aina is telling, in a Arasia Dinos Tefari name. Greeting. This is Wendem Yadin, Rasai Adonis. Um, this is a very special season, a um, special time for many different um, reasons. Um, one, it's the, the, the Shabbat, it's the, it's the eve of the Sabbath. This is Friday, September 9th. And most of our people know that, well, September 11th, before 2000, and even now, but before 2000, September 11th, usually the Ethiopian New Year is September 11th. Now, one thing that you might not have known is that every, roughly every um, fourth year, every fourth year, what we call every year of 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 uh, uh, Kedus uh, Johannes at the end of Kedus Lucas when Galawi and the beginning which begins the Kedus Johannes when Galawi in other words l- let me let me list this out right here we have four gospels right four gospels or what's known as four gospels and this is from an Ethiopic this is from the inner African and the black, what we can call the black um, Christianity or Christianity as seen from both the true way but the ancient black way preserved by the Ethiopians. We have four years, right? Let's do this like this. We have uh, Matthew, right? We have Mark, we have Luke, and then we have John, right? So we have these four, one, two, three, four. And every fourth year, right, every fourth year is what ones can call um, a leap year to a degree, but really on that fourth year, it doesn't begin on September 11th. Now, September, first of all, 11th, is and usually is known as Ethiopia's it's the Ethiopian New Year, right? September eleventh usually is the Ethiopian New Year. But what we want to inform ones from the very get go, especially this year as um this year is the tenth what they call the tenth anniversary of the events of um of the events of nine eleven that this September 11th is the eve of the new year and not as usual the new year for we as Ethiopian Hebrews or Hebraic Christians. For us as Hebraic Christianos, you understand, or or Hebraic Christians, it is not the new year this September 11th for us. So you might hear some that will say, September 11th, Ethiopia, New Year, and we have said that often. However, especially for 9-11, when 9/11, the events of 9-11 happened, that was a an Ethiopian New Year. So that was a holy time, a holy year. But the Almighty has, has done something wonderful for us now that we're in the 9-11 plus 10. And stay tuned. We have a special message on 9-11 plus 10. So stay tuned for that. But first, we want to touch on the fact that this year, it is not September 11th. That is the Ethiopian New Year for um, 2011. However, it is the 12th. And this is interesting as we're going into 2012, but it's September 12th, not September 11th. You understand? And this is the year of John. We're entering into what we know as the year of John. So each of the each year from an Ethiopian to Wahido Ritit um Hymenot from the true faith, from the Ethiopian ones may call it Orthodox, but in truth it's the Ritit Hymenot is the correct or the true faith from an Ethiopic conception, not using or not bowing to the so called Greek you understand orthodox. The word orthodox means something different than the rit it 
of the Ritua Hymenot in Ge'ez. In other words, we have our own way to say orthodox. And it's very important for us as Ethiopians to stop using these loan words when we have our own Ethiopic terminologies or Amharic terminologies that convey a far richer, a far more grounded, and a balanced meaning for us. See, see, the word, it says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. There's something very important to that. So if we are using foreign words and ideas to express that which we can also articulate in our own way from our own roots, you see, this is something very, very, is very much a key. There's a, um, there's a scripture which, okay, well, uh, well, that scripture, I'm thinking about the point about healing Babylon, about how Babylon is not healed and how we would have healed Babylon. Because, see, there's a lot of lost sheep, you understand, and we're talking about so-called black folks, you understand, who, who are trying to save this so-called sinking Titanic that we know as Babylon, you understand, or the USA, USA, so forth and so on. The scriptures has something very interesting to say about that, and we're going to leave that off for the next, hopefully the next um, video that we're going to work on. But we said first we want to work on this particular one concerning the Ethiopian New Year, and to explain as brief as possible that each four years, every four year, is named after one of the Wengelawit, you understand, one of the evangelists. For example, this year, as we're ending this year, you understand, this, this Ethiopian from, a, not, from, from not the Gregorian, but from the so-called, they call it the so-called Julian, but from the Ethiopic calendar approach, we're in the year of Luke. We're ending the year of Luke the physician right now. As, and, and the year ends actually on September 11th actually is the eve of the Ethiopian New Year this particular year, 2011. This particular year is the eve. Usually for these three years, you understand when it's, when it's the year of Matthew, Mateos, the year of Mark, Marcos, the year of Luke, Lucas, it is September 11th, even from the Gregorian um, perspective, is a new year. However, for 2011, the particular year we are in right now, and the particular time that we're in, going from Luke to John, in other words, we're entering into, in other words, 2012 is a Johannes year. Is is a is a is a is a Johannes is a John year, and there's something very very important because His Imperial Majesty, uh, the Son of Man, was born also in a John year. For the record, I think I was also born in a John year, but it doesn't mean if you was born in another year, there is no significance to your birth. You know, so I just want to want wants to understand that, but um. There are certain significances to these four Gospels and the fact that, according to the Ethiopic calendar, you understand, these four Gospels, it's interesting because it says that each of these four Gospels is like we're in Revelation and we're in um, the Scriptures, um, the prophetic Scriptures, it speaks about the Ancient of Days. And in the book of Daniel, as well, the Ancient of Days. In the Ancient of Days, it was seen these, uh, also Ezekiel speaks about this. When, when, when God or the Son of Man is seen, there are these four so-called signs. Now, each one of these, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, have corresponding, you understand, have corresponding um, we can say signs that equate and equal those so-called four, those four corners. In other words, when we when we squared off, okay, we 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 have to do this a little bit a little bit later right here. This thing is this thing has gone out on us. Well, okay, we have more, so so we'll try to replace that. But the main thing about this particular, the main thing about this particular update is. To, um, is to establish the fact that this year, September 11th, is the eve. For us this year, 2011, moving from a Johannes year to a, a, a John, a, a Luke year to a John year, in other words, the four, 
the four corners right here. And there's much to be said about these particular four, these particular four um, gospels. Um, some say this signifies, you know, the, the the whole four cardinal, the four cardinal points of the zodiac or the zodiac. Now that's that's a little bit. That's another teaching, another lesson. The main lesson in this lesson, the main teaching and update in this update is that this year, 2011, it is September 12th. September 12th, 2011 is Ethiopia New Year, not September 11th. That is the main and the primary point about this particular update. As we are, right now is September 9th. We're in September 9th. And it's interesting because... Um, if we look at it from an Ethiopic calendar, this particular September uh, 9th right here, this is the eve of the Shabbat, the Senbet. So, of course, Senbet, Salam, Shabbat, Shalom. Stay tuned for our um, Torah portion reading and the feeding. But it is Yek Dusan and Na Yek Dusat Hulu Metasebia. So of the Holy Ones, this, this time right now, you know, saying the eve of the Shabbat or the Senbet is called the of the holy ones and 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 all of the holy ones. You understand? This is a memorial. This is a this is known from a, a strictly Ethiopic uh, Christian perspective, and we're looking at right now here on the screen the um, Ameta Meheret, the website. For Nabura in um, Ethiopia, in the Kingdom of God, our brother, um, the Nabura, the Nabura in Aramias, you understand know, his particular site, his particular work, some very, very important work um, for us to check out. Um, but that's a little bit, I want to say deeper, but that's that's another another aspect right there. So just try to try to recognize this for this year. That this year, September 11th, is not the new year. The new year is actually in September. It will be on the next day, September 12th. So for Ethiopia New Year, this year is September 12th, 2011, and it will be a year of John. It will be known as a year of John. We're in the year of Luke. You understand? And these four Gospels, like the four cardinal points, you understand? And those particular um, signs that are associated with those particular signs that are associated with, like the eagle, the man, the you 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 know what I'm talking about, right there, which come out of um, actually the ancient Egypt. The root of that, a lot of that's the ancient Egypt. So, for right now, my brothers and sisters, September 11th, this year, being a leap year. You know what I'm saying? Every four years or so, the leap year, every year, four years, uh, that year of John, and usually the year of John, it is September 12th, you know what I'm saying? And not September 11th, especially for this year. Sometimes it can be a little um, calculating the heavens, you know what I'm saying, is a science in itself. So this is a basic overview with what the science is. But for this particular year, this is the absolute accurate truth that it's not September 11th. But there's a special message, as we said, for September 11th that we have to share. You understand? And we're going to try to get it out, y'all willing, as soon as possible. So, Shalom, Ras Teferine, Ras Yadinos Teferine. I am Wendem Yadin reporting for. Ethiopian World Network.